Hey, what's up, man? I ain't talked to y'all in a, in a hot minute, man. Just kind of been laying low, going through a couple of things with, uh, just going through a couple of things, man. But how y'all doing? I ain't seen y'all in a while. Like, subscribe, comment. I missed uh, talking to y'all. Um, so I, I just, I wasn't even going to make this video. I was going to wait a while to make this, man. But it's so, look at that crack. You see that crack? That's not good. That was not there a few years ago, you know. That's that's terrible. It's, it's we got it. So, all right. Wasn't even going to make this video, but I came across something so amazing to me that I feel like I had to share it with y'all. All right. So check this out. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. All right. The Seagate two terabyte game drive for the PS4. Because if you're like me, which you probably are, you... Um, if you have, you know, for instance, my PlayStation is a first gen. So with the first gens, you know, it's 500 gigabytes. I mean, nowadays, for instance, you know, Red Dead, right? GTA, right? Like Fallout, right? Like, so you can't have a lot of games. So I got tired because my internet is so slow. Like, if I was to download, you know, a game that was, let's say, 50 gigs, like, it would take, like, six hours. Now, I don't know if that's normal, but I don't think that is. So, um, so I was like, I mean, I've been doing it for years, because, I mean, I buy games all the time. Like, so I've been doing it for years and years and years and years and years. What I've been doing is I have been, you know, uninstalling a game to install a game right like let's let's be honest like that's part of playstation life if you probably have less than a terabyte and you buy a decent amount of games and of course you get the free games from Play playstation plus which you know every once in a while but for the most part but whatever so so you constantly are finding yourself uninstalling to install and sometimes you uninstall really good games that you're in the middle of just because you bought a new game and you want to play it and you just bought another game and you want to play that one so something's got to give right and sometimes when it takes six or eight hours to install a game sometimes you just you just don't go back to it and the next thing you know you consider it old right and you're always constantly buying games so you're building on top of it and you just never go back to that game that was another reason why I started downloading games instead of buying them as well because I was going to GameStop you know buying games playing them for a little bit buying games buying games buying games when I was taking them back you was getting like you know one hundredth of the price you know what I mean so I got tired of that for instance I bought Skyrim two times three times and GTA 5 two times on PlayStation 3 before you know PlayStation 4 even came out so that was the main reason why I started buying video games is because I just, I got tired of getting robbed by GameStop. So then of course it came to the problem of constantly uninstalling and you know, to make room for new games. So I have a whole bunch of games that I haven't played and I was just, you know, I just got tired of it, you know. Of course this Black Friday comes around so you wanna buy like three or four games, you know, but you're right in the middle of three or four games and, uh, so I was like, okay, I got to do something. So I came across this cat on Facebook who was talking about, you know, the drive. So I was like, okay, the hell with it. I'm going to do it. He told me how easy it was to install and I'll show you. Um, and I was just like, I'm going to go for it. So I went on Amazon. I got it. It was 85 bucks. He said they was at Best Buy on Black Friday, which they still might have to deal. I don't know if you want to get it. Um, but uh, I'm looking all crooked and sideways like this is weird. I got this light hooked up to my phone. That's why it's so bright. It's like a little light I bought. It's pretty cool. It's like a little ring light for all of y'all um, who are familiar with that term. But it just plugs into the ear port on your phone. So I'm always looking at it instead of looking at the camera and the angles. But anyways, I really got to get myself in the middle here. So um, what was I saying? Um, 
so oh how easy it was to install so i got it i got it in the mail two days ago okay okay all right number one it's easy to install all you do it comes with a little a little plug-in uh let me see if i can show it on here i can't show it on here maybe I, maybe you can see it I was doing this. Okay, you see that? I can't do it because I'm downloading games where I would show you what it is, but I'll still show you. So, there it is right there. Dang on, I keep getting messages. There it is right there. You just plug it in to the port. Oh, let me see if I can get a little... You just plug it into the device. That's the device. As you can see, it's that big, honestly, in relation to the PlayStation. So, that gives you an idea how big it is. It's as thin as an iPhone. I'll, I'll show it to you. I keep saying that, and I will. But you just plug it in to your PlayStation to one of the controller ports. That is it. That's all you do. Your PlayStation, I ask you if you want to format it to an external drive as far as downloading games. You just say yes because that's what it is. And then, and then you go to your library, and you find every game that you want to play that you have and you download that damn thing. This is two terabytes. I, I wanted to get two. I didn't want one, I wanted two, you know? So let me show it to you. All right, so here it is right here. Oh, damn it. This is it, this is the hard drive. Let me back it up. This is it, this is the drive. This is it, two terabytes, right? Plug it into the PlayStation that is it check this out y'all hey well again for for all of y'all who got you know who's bought the ex big external hard drives and who has the one terabyte playstation or the playstation pro and whatever they got like i said mine is a first gen playstation 4 i was literally in my town where i live at i'm gonna call it a town but it's a city I was literally the second PlayStation that was sold there. Like, I stood out in the cold. I was one of those people for hours and hours and hours, like eight hours. You know what I mean? But anyways, so I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to make sure that the TV shows up nice and good. All right, hold on. Let me, let me start this way. I mean, I'm so excited about it. Man, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited. It's crazy because now I can play all of my games. I can play all the games that I want to play. I don't have to worry about nothing. And uh, somebody asked me, you know, if... Um, because their interpretation of the hard drive was you would lose all your save data because, you know, you're saving a game onto that drive and you have to you know, apparently, like, you just lose your data because it's, you know, hell. And I was just like, no, you don't lose anything. It loads it up to your home screen like you just have the room for it, like it's just there. Because you know, you know one thing that all of y'all have wanted to do, because I know I've wanted to do it. If you have a PlayStation 4, you have a lot of games, you like to scroll across all of them. You know, sometimes you in install games that just have low memory on them just so it looks like you have a lot of games, right? Am I the only one that does that? Well, I do that. I don't know. I just like scroll. I don't know. So anyways, um, let's go to the beginning here. All right. So, now we're gonna go this way. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, all right. So, this is my, my homepage browser for my station. So I'm about to show you all of the games that I have on here. It's crazy. I'm still downloading, but here we go. And I got some VR games as well because you know I do that too. So, all right, here we go. We got the Star War, uh, the Star Tre Star Wars. That's oh, don't be mad at me, y'all. The Star Trek. That's the VR though. That's downloading. Of course, my VR games here. I got Detroit. It's downloading right now. Of course, GTA. My little chess. My Mad Max. Just some old stuff. But sometimes when you're in the mood, you're in the mood. What can I say? God of War, Witcher, Fallout, Yakuza, Need for Speed, Dragon Ball, Monster Hunter, Diablo, Ghost Recon. Sims, Shadow of War, Horizon, Red, UFC, Bloodborne, and I don't even know how to say their name. And I still have, I still have Super Hot downloading, and I still got Watch Dogs downloading. Y'all. Come on, and there's still other games that I haven't even that I'm still deciding on if I just if I even want them I don't know yet, but the point is the point is That device will change the way you play your damn system 
Y'all like my controller, I just got it. My other controller broke, y'all know the damn PlayStations, man. Y'all know that controllers are so sensitive. It's pitiful. But anyways, listen, I recommend, let me get this damn thing one more time so y'all can see this. And I'll put it down in my link too, or I'll put it down in my description, whatever. This is what you need in your life. They have one, excuse me, sorry about that. They have one terabyte as well, but I mean, listen, you need this in your life. It's the craziest thing. Like the game start up instantly. Like, like there is, it's, it's not hard. There's nothing to it. You plug it in, you answer yes, you download. It is the, you see up there in the closet, you see all that stuff? Yeah, that's laziness right there. That's what that is. That's what that is. But that's also somebody who likes to iron. So, you know. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm back. It's been a little while. Uh, Y'all probably see more videos coming from me. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have this. Let me know what you think, man. Also, of all of those games on there, um, if you have any of them, hey, send a friend request. I'll put that in the description as well, my PSN ID. But, um, man, it's it will change the way you play your PlayStation. Period. You can play all of your games, man. I know I can't be the only one with this problem. I cannot be the only one with this problem. It cost me 80, like 87 bucks or something. And it came in two days. So I recommend it. I highly recommend it. There's a couple other things I'll talk about in future videos. I'm going ch to change my channel up, y'all, too. Um, it's going to be going into the new year. It's going to be a lot more of everything. Like, I don't see why I need multiple channels to talk about whatever it is that I want to talk about. I'll probably lose some subscribers because, you know, not everybody wants to hear everybody talk about everything. Sometimes you hear just for the games, you hear for the trailers, you hear for whatever. You know, I don't know why you're here, but you're here. But, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be different. It's going to be a lot more because there's no sense, like I said, in having multiple channels. You can just come here and hey, I'll be the one-stop shop. I know that's like breaking the cardinal rule of making a channel you want to stick to your thing like that's what everybody always says keep it simple stick to one side yeah you know do whatever the hell you want to but i'm gonna do it my way you know what i mean so um we're gonna you're gonna there's gonna be some big changes coming to this channel it's still gonna be the same but there's gonna be some big changes so just stay tuned for that again if you like the video if you didn't like the video like and subscribe anyways tell me why you did why you didn't i'm here for you and uh, I really am curious to know how y'all feel about this two terabyte thing going on there and if it's changed the way you've gamed as well. All right. I appreciate y'all's time.